for the developed economy, I think it's also important to know that they should. They should. It's like a handicap system in golf. You know, you know, if some countries' development is at, at a different stage of development, so you have to you have to be mindful, and there are some handicaps that you have to provide, and for the uh, the learning process, the adjustment process, you know, you're gonna slap a big tax on uh, environmentally uh, sensitive products, it doesn't help these developing countries. We are embracing a lot of uh, changes and new technology, innovation, digitization with China. And China has brought a big and rapid changes, especially on electric vehicles. You know, you can see that and that has a big, big change factor to the entire region. Asia still represents a growing uh, market, a sizable market and very young population and technology provider from China, you know, on, on, on so many ways. And China is actually helping to bring costs down in, 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 in a lot of uh, what we are trying to move forward and move uh, going forward. Every country is just came out of the uh, pandemic and every government is facing a very high debt uh, issues and trying to revitalize their own economies and the backdrops of a very slow economy uh, worldwide Maybe we have to relook at this and try to understand each other and see how we can help the whole world grow.